What's up, bro? Hope you're doing well. Today, I want to tell you the four-step process of how you meditate. So, step one, search for a place where you can sit or lie in peace. This room, for example, is a pretty good place. There's nobody around, no like construction site in the background, and no like dogs barking outside with the window open. So basically, it should be just a real tranquil and peaceful place. Step two is lie down, close your eyes, and then pick something that you want to focus on. The most safe bet you can go with is your breathing, okay? So basically, shift all of your focus on your breath and just focus on that as best you can. You can also take something like prayer beads. I don't have any like uh, at home here, but like these things that look like an armband and just twist them around kind of. Those work. Or you can think about God, which is in my opinion the most difficult because it's not really... You can't feel it physically, so it becomes a lot more demanding because it's something that is more mostly in your mind. Step three is where thoughts actually come into play. And these thoughts are just going to come, okay? That you can't do anything about it. You can't lie there for 15 minutes and not have a single thought. Now, these thoughts are going to come and you just have to get back into the present moment or the thing you're focusing on, better to speak, as best you can. So let's say as an example, you lie down and the thing you focus on is breathing, okay? So when you're breathing, you're breathing in, breathing out, everything's fine, and then a thought comes along. Thought is like, let's say, what should I eat after my meditation? You will not be aware of this thought, most likely, because it will, it will be an unconscious thing that will happen to you, okay? When this thought comes, let it pass if you can. If you can't, at some point, you're going to wake up and be like, yo, I've been thinking. Because chances are, when you get one thought and you don't like immediately interrupt it, there will be a small or big chain of thoughts that can last for maybe a few seconds or up to a minute. I've had that as well. And the important thing is just not to get yourself down about that. It's completely okay. Okay? <laughs> like everybody has had that at some point. And many people who have meditated for a long time, look at me, I, st I still have uh, moments where I'm just like minutes at a time and I just come back to my senses and I'm like, bro, I've just been sitting, I've just been lying here for a minute and just thinking about things, okay? So don't blame yourself, okay? Keep focusing on the breath and that that is basically it. Those three steps and step four is repeat. Repeat step through and three. That's it. The important thing here is that each time you come into, how should I say this, you come back into the present moment. It's kind of like a bicep curl, but for your mind. Each time you do a bicep curl, you're like this. One, two, and so on and so forth. Each time you come back into the present moment, that's one rep. Okay? So you're often thought sometimes, and then you come back. That is the rep. Okay? And each time you do that, there's always a rep more. Of course, that doesn't mean that you should be deliberately going out because that just basically ruins the whole exercise. But if you, the more you get out of thought and into thought again, the more reps you've got, okay? And that is the most important thing. You might be asking now, okay, I get the process. That's pretty cool. But what does meditation actually get me? Meditation is really important for one single reason, and that's teaching you mindfulness. Meditation is probably the best tool at teaching you this. And why is mindfulness important? I've talked about this in my last video, and that was about the present moment. Mindfulness allows you to live in the present moment as best you can. Because if you live in the past, or if you live in the present, uh, sorry, in the future, you're not living your life in the current moment. And if you're not living your life in the current moment, how else are you going to live it? You only, have the, you only have this moment. You can't live in the future or the past, or you're just wasting it, okay? And that's what mindfulness teaches us about. There are a lot of like modern influences that are like, let's say TikTok, for example, where you're just scrolling and you easily, like it's very easy to become brain AFK, okay? And you you just won't notice that you've been scrolling and then you look at the clock and an hour has passed. That, 
that boys that is what not like unmindfulness is i still have that for example like last time like uh, i believe two days ago when i had kung fu my trainer was like explaining stuff to me and i was like bro i was lost in thought for like 30 seconds and when he was done explaining i was like bro what the fuck just happened i like everybody has those days even people who have been meditating for a long time okay so don't don't beat yourself up about anything that it's gonna improve trust me and follow these steps do them every day for i don't know five minutes at sorry five minutes at least if you can do it for 10 go ahead if you can do it for more go ahead it's really up to you but the important thing is the consistency build up the habit and the results will come.